What's growing on gardeners? On today's two minute garden tip, I'm going to show you the best way to fight back against squash vine borers. If you've ever grown squash before, you know how difficult they can be to grow because they are so susceptible to so many different varieties of pests and disease. The toughest pest of all is probably the squash vine borer. And if you've ever grown squash before, you have almost certainly encountered this pest. The squash vine borer are the larvae of a brightly colored moth that will land on the ribs of the squash and lay their eggs. The eggs will hatch and then the larvae will bore themselves into the ribs of the squash. Here you can see bore holes from the squash vine borer. If you see this evidence on the ribs of your plants, they are almost certainly infected by the vine borer. While there are preventative measures that you can take to help delay the infection by the squash vine borer, it's generally only a matter of time until the vine borer finds its way into your plants. The reason why the vine borer is so hard to protect against is because they wind up inside the ribs of your squash plants and you can't contact them any longer with insecticides. This is one of the original squash plants I planted back in April. As you can see, the vine borer has caused catastrophic damage to the old vines. However, this bit of the plant right here is still healthy, live, vibrant, and flowering. That is because squash plants have the ability to root themselves in damp soil throughout the length of the vine. So despite the fact that vine borers have completely destroyed the original vine, cutting off the plant's ability to access the original root system, the squash plant has rooted itself into the ground right here on this newer part. The best way to ensure that your squash plants are never killed by the vine borer is to allow the plants to root along the stem in as many locations as possible. And you want to accomplish that by burying the stem. Also by burying the stem of the plant, you are giving the moth less places to lay its eggs. So you're protecting the stem by burying it underground where the vine borers cannot access. Simply dig a trench to bury the vine as completely as possible. Cover the entire vine in compost. Water it in with a good quality water soluble fertilizer such as a 20-20-20 mixed with fish emulsion. And remember to maintain adequate soil moisture at all times because you need consistently moist soil in order for the vines to root. Once the vines are buried and better rooted, it will make it much more difficult for the squash vine borers to gain access. And if they do, the extensive root system will do a much better job at keeping your plants alive. However, this technique is not bulletproof. Don't make the mistake of trying to keep your original squash planting alive all season long. Squash plants go from seed to maturity in only about 50 days. So it's smart to start new seedlings every four to six weeks. So you constantly have a fresh supply of young, healthy, vibrant plants producing in your garden. And that's today's two minute garden tip. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and hitting the bell to receive new video notifications and check out our Amazon storefront and spread shop in the video description for a list of the gardening products I use and awesome custom designed apparel and other gear. Your support is greatly appreciated.